Hello dudes, welcome back to Tector.com. So I hope you are following the lectures carefully and you are solving problems, related problems. Now we are starting a new chapter which is query language and before we go further let's understand what we have done till now. So we started our study with universe of given universe of discourse that was So what is universe of discourse? It's the given requirement scenario from which we have to model our database. From this universe of discourse, what we did? We designed ER diagrams. That is, we modeled this requirement over paper. Fine. And then in the last chapter, what we do? In last chapter, we have actually designed the database from this given year model so we designed the number of tables and what will be the different constraint over table what will be the key and what will be the normal forms up to which we have to decompose the table we also understood that what is the relations or what is the key constraint that is foreign key constraint and all among the tables so up to this we have done so from the requirement we have came up to the database okay design of the database now our database is ready to use we have to use this database so use means we have to store data and we have to retrieve data from this okay so this storage and retrieval will be done through a query language through a mechanism which every database should have and it is called SQL structured query language so that we will understand in this chapter so before we go further we have to understand two formal languages which is very useful to derive or which is useful in structured query language so these language are, languages are relational algebra and relational calculus So we will start with relational algebra, we will understand relational calculus and then we will move, move on to SQL. So to have an overview, relational algebra is core of any query language. It is basically a procedural query language but it, it is inside all the modern or all the commercial relational database languages that is whether it is MS SQL or MySQL or Oracle's DBMS. So everywhere it is there inside the core so basically it is most important to design and to optimize a query so what is done when we do a query over a over a system internally it runs this relational algebra and the sequence of relational algebraic expressions and the intermediates are also a relation basically it runs over a relation okay it runs over a relation and the intermediates are also relation and finally it gives a output as the relation then the system from this relation outputs you result okay so likewise it works and that's why we have to understand that what is actually working inside any database language and we have to study this relational algebra afterwards we will go to relational calculus which is high level representation of any query where the order of execution doesn't matters what matters is what information a result should contain so that is very high level this representation of a query so these uh, these two things that is relational algebra and rela relational calculus you really cannot execute in any commercial database system right now but these are this is conceptual entity and this relational algebra is basically inside the any database system inside the core that is core of the query languages okay but there is no interface to execute this expressions that is calculus or uh, re relational algebraic expression 
and finally then we will move on to SQL so after studying these two things we will move on to SQL so I hope you will be following all lectures and solving problems and it will make you easier to solve higher level problems or in problems in your examination so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching